Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to study about sex linked inheritance. The sex linked inheritance was discovered by D. H. Morgan, Thomas Hunt Morgan. When I'm saying sex linked, it means it's linked to X chromosome of Drosophila. He was actually working on the inheritance of eye color in Drosophila melanogaster which is the fruit fly. They performed three different types of crosses and came to a conclusion. Let's see the type of crosses they performed. In, in the very first cross, he chose those parents in which female Drosophila is red-eyed. She is having a wild type of genes on X chromosomes, while the male is having white-eyed which means the male is having recessive or mutant type gene on the X chromosome only. So here we can see female having XX, male having XY. Female is having wild type, male is having mutant type of genes. Now if we see the gametes of these parents, we will get to know that the X type is one type of gamete. Otherwise, the Y type, hai, jo male, hai, it will form two different types of gametes resulting in F1 generation in which we will see female as a carrier. Carrier hamesha yaad rakhna, is always present in heterozygous form W plus W and the male which is XY is red eyed male. So in the F1 generation, we get red eyed in both cases. Male is having red eye, female is having red eye in heterozygous condition, hence being a carrier. Now, if we interbreed both the F1 generation male and female, we will get an F2 generation. Here, we will form the gametes of both male and female. So, these are the gametes. In case of female, W plus W. In case of male, it's W plus and a segregated Y chromosome acting as a gamete. Here, in F2 generation, we will see the very first progeny is a female, which is wild type. Without any carrier, she is homozygous dominant, homozygous wild type. And the other one is male, which is again, red-eyed male. The third one is red-eyed female which is heterozygous. So here we can see this female is red-eyed and hybrid heterozygous acting as a carrier. Now in the last we will get a male which is white-eyed male. So in this first cross what we can observe is that there are three progenies with the red eye in F2 generation and only male is white eye. There are two males, 50% male, 50% females. In case of male, 50% of the male is red eye, which is W plus Y and 50% male is white eye, which is W and Y chromosome. Since Y chromosome is carrying no gene, so we are concentrating only on the X chromosome. And all females of Drosophila are red-eyed female. One is pure red eye, homozygous dominant. Another one is heterozygous carrier. Now this is from the cross one. The second cross that they performed in which they took red-eyed hybrid female. Now in this case, they are again choosing a wild type female. But this female is hybrid in nature. And the male is white-eyed male. Now male is XY and female is XX. So female is carrying a hybrid W plus W genes while male is carrying only W white-eyed gene. We will further make gametes of these parents. So we will get to know that female has W plus or W gametes and male ka ek W X chromosomes and Y chromosome. Ho so in this F1 generation we will get four different progenies just may say adhi females or adhi male honge jo females hai yaha pe here we can see one female is hybrid red eye she will be a carrier because she is in heterozygous condition right on the other hand here we have female which is white eyed female having recessive mutant type ww genes male on the other hand is xy red eyed 
and xy white eyed now here we can see half of the male is white eye half of the male is red eye half of the female is white eye half of the female is red eye so in this cross we will get a phenotype of one ratio one ratio one ratio one all cases of male and female this is a kind of a result like of a test cross the test cross may be hamesha ratio one ratio one ratio one ratio one hi aati hai aur yahan pe bhi cross two mein bhi humne ye dekha ki jitne bhi hamare parents hain inka jo result aata hai one generation ka that is similar to the test cross one ratio one ratio one ratio one so in this cross we get to know ki ye jo white eye characteristic hai this is not limited to male only this is also connected to females also so female can also have a white eye condition now the third cross that we are going to perform is absolutely the reciprocal of the cross number 1 that we have just performed the cross 1 mein female wild type thi is case mein female ho jayegi mutant type yani ki white eyed on the other hand male white type tha in cross 1 now it will be red eye to in ki f1 generation kaise aayegi in ki f1 generation ab hum direct bana ke dekh sakte hain it will be somewhat like this jisme se do females hongi aur dono ki dono carrier hai yahan pe dono ki dono females kya hai carrier ki tarah act kar rahi hain aur red eyed hai jabki ye jo hamare paas male hai yahan pe dono ke dono jo ye male hai they are acting as red white eye male dono hi male jo hai white eyed hai aur dono female hai red eyed hai to yani ki red eye male ne वाइट आई फीमेल बनाई और वाइट आई फीमेल ने अगेन हमारे पास जो है नहीं रेड आई मेल ने रेड आई फीमेल बनाई वाइट आई फीमेल पेरेंट ने वाइट आई फीमेल मेल पेरेंट मेल ऑफ स्प्रिंग बनाया तो ऑल मेल्स आर वाइट आइड वेल ऑल फीमेल्स आर रेड आइड तो यहाँ पे हमने जितने भी ये तीनों के तीनों क्रॉसेस अगर आपने देखे होंगे सो इफ वी कंसिडर ऑल क्रॉसेस हे by performing these th all three crosses morgan came to a conclusion that eye color is or eye color gene which is w plus and w it is linked to and it is present on x chromosome ye jitne bhi humne eye color ki characteristic dekhi hai red eye and white eye ye first of all ye genes jo hai sirf aur sirf x chromosome pe प्रेजेंट है और ये एक्स क्रोमोजोम पे कुछ इस तरह से प्रेजेंट है दैट दे डजेंट पास डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम वन पेरेंट टू द ऑफ स्प्रिंग ऑफ द सेम सेक्स यानी कि माँ से उसकी बेटी में नहीं जाता माँ से बेटे में जाता है और बेटे से आगे उसकी डॉटर को जाता है यानी कि फ्रॉम द ग्रैंड मदर टू द ग्रैंड डॉटर राइट और फ्रॉम द ग्रैंड फादर टू द ग्रैंड सन तो इट फॉलोज अ क्रिस क्रॉस इनहेरिटेंस क्या मतलब है इसका क्रिस क्रॉस इनहेरिटेंस का मतलब है कि एक जो पेरेंट है वो अपनी अपनी जो करेक्टरिस्टिक है वो ऑपोजिट सेक्स के ऑफ स्प्रिंग को इनहेरिट करता है सो इन क्रिस क्रॉस इनहेरिटेंस अ मेल ट्रांसमिट्स इट्स करेक्टरिस्टिक और इट्स ट्रेट टू द ग्रैंड सन थ्रू अ female or through a daughter and this mode of inheritance is termed as diagynic diagynic matlab female ke through male ko transmit karwaya yani ki grandfather ne grandson ko apne characteristic dene ke liye apni f1 generation mein usko daughter ko apne characteristic diye ek criss cross inheritance kiya on the other hand a female parent will transmit her trait to her granddaughter through son and this is called as diandric in case of using a son it will be diandric in case of daughter it is diagynic so this is a pattern of criss cross inheritance on the other hand we can see this characteristic in human beings also where we see x linked recessive disorder in case of color blindness in case of hemophilia which is also known as bleeder's disease so this is a pattern of criss cross inheritance or we can also say x linked inheritance studied by morgan